This video shows the process for adding internal style sheets or cascading styles into our HTML files by using the CMonkey Composer tool. You'll notice that our current file is just plain HTML. We have a hyperlink to an internal bookmark. We have a couple heading two codes, so you can notice that we have heading two here as our paragraph styles for this and this. Again, heading two. But we have no other formatting in this file. We're going to go into the HTML source tab. And you'll notice that our file, again, has no specific formatting on our um, tags. Next, we are going to add into the head area a set of tags for style. And within here, we can add our style sheet content. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some style for the general body of our document. So I'm going to take and paste in some style formatting that I've previously edited. And what this code is doing is it's saying, first of all, the font family for our document is going to start out as Helvetica, but if Helvetica is not installed on the client or the user's machine, it will then try and use the Arial font. If that's not installed, it will then use the base sans serif font. Also that the font for our document, the standard font, is going to be 1.2 times the size of the normal character set on the user's machine. Also, we're going to be setting a background and a foreground color. Whenever you, you set a background color, make sure that you also set a foreground color so that you don't end up having the two colors be too close or the same color. So for instance, if I'm using a black background and if I have black text, then the text would be invisible. So at this point, I've changed my um, main body tags, and I can save this information. And we'll see now that we have that style applied. So our font is a little bit larger than normal. We're using Helvetica or Arial as our font set. And then the background color has also updated. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the heading to structure coding so that this will have an additional style applied to it. Again, we'll go into the HTML source. And in our style section, which is here, we're going to add some additional style. So this time, we're going to change what the style is for our heading level 2. And you'll notice that I'm changing the background color for the style 2, for heading level 2. However, I've forgotten to add in what the base color is. So again, I need to add that in to ensure that I don't end up with a foreground color and background color matching. And then I can save this iteration. And you'll notice that now the heading 2s have a yellow background with black font. The last thing that I want to do is I want to change the behavior of my hyperlinks so that as I'm hovering over the top of the hyperlinks, the cursor changes for the user. So again, I'm going to go into our HTML source. I'm going to find our styles area. And here I'm going to use what's called a pseudo class which is not an actual tag, but it's a tag derivation. And I'm going to say that whenever there's a hyperlink that we and the user is hovering over that hyperlink, that we want to change the background color and the foreground color. So in this case, we're going to change the background color of that hyperlink to black, and then we're going to change the foreground color to blue. So I can save that information. And now you'll notice that I have a new behavior being exhibited as I float the mouse over the top of the hyperlink. 
when you're done with all of your coding changes you can save your file. Uh, this is the process for including internal styles within your HTML documents. However, you'll notice that you would need to copy and paste this information into each of the documents that you're using within your course site. So there is another video that shows how to link into an external style sheet. And I would suggest that you view that video as well. Thank you very much.